Lift your hands, just worship the King of all kings. Worship Him, this worthy of our praise. Exalt Him, mighty God, there's no like you forever. You are the throne, there's no one else like you. We worship you, mighty God. We give you praise and glory, there's no like you, mighty God. Bless your name, Lord. We give you all the praise in the precious name of Jesus. Father, 2,000 years ago, everyone that came in contact with you, you healed them all. said in your word, you are the same yesterday, today, and forever. You walked in the streets of Galilee. Not one person left with disease. You are the Lord, you change enough. You said in your word, come unto me, all that labor and heavy and I will give you rest. Everyone that's come with any plague, any disease, any concern in their heart, all over the world, they've come to you. No other person but you. And I take my authority in your name, in the name that is above every name. In the name of Jesus the Christ himself. So I decree. Every sick put your hand. Now in the name of Jesus. I command your spirit of infirmity. Go in Jesus' name. And I pronounce every sick healed in the name of Jesus. Simple as prayer, all sick, you are healed in Jesus' name. Glory. Miracles have happened everywhere. I command the blind eyes open in Jesus' name. I command every lost sight restored. Deaf ears open in the name of Jesus. Dumb tongues be loose in the name of Jesus. And all. hear me, you will know I'm not the healer. Miracles happen. I've heard God clearly. Miracles have happened. Check yourself. If you were sick before, rush out. Miracles have happened. You'll know that I'm not the healer. He spoke to me and I said, I've healed them all. Every sick, rush to the front with your testimony. Those of you who are healed, come to the front, to the right, to the left of your church where you are and we'll take testimonies in the next five minutes and then we'll go to God's word. Everyone got healed. When I call your case or not, check your body. You are healed in Jesus' name. Back pain, gone. Deaf ears open. Blind eyes can see. Deaf ears are open, tongue tongues are loose, cancer is gone in the name of Jesus. Pains gone, crushes drop them, wake up from a wheelchair, walk in the name of Jesus. Miracles have happened everywhere. Come to the left, to the right of the church where you are, and then your testimonies will be taken from you right now. Miracles have happened, I know it. hear this? If God heal you, the miracle belongs to you. But the testimony does not belong to you. The testimony belongs to God. Is it overcame by the blood of the Lamb one of their testimonies? What you don't testify about, you may lose it. Rush out and give the glory to the one who healed you. Come to the front of the church where you are. There are pastors and doctors in all of our churches. Those of you on the internet watching in any form, write the testimony and send to the email on the address on the screen. You may be seated at the rest of the church. 
Must not limit God. One of our doctors here was a sickler. He was born with SS. And one day came, sat with me, and the mother looked at me and said, This is my son. Then he was in medical school. And in two minutes, God removed SS. Now I'm seeing with glasses. So the God who can remove SS to A cannot remove glasses to make him see. We limit God a lot. We limit God a lot. God does not heal passion. He healed him of sickle cell. Is it uh, whether myopia or epitopia, whatever you call it, that God cannot change? Boy, you are limiting God. The same God who can turn your genitalia from SS to AA in two minutes. Just tell him, I don't want to use these glasses. I'm tired. Then he will turn your eyes and you see well. No drug can change your genotype. It is only changeable through Godica. Through what? Through medical, no way. It is only by Godica. Okay, yes, doctors, quickly. Pastor. Doctor. Yesterday, you gave a word of knowledge concerning someone who couldn't bat with cold water. She said she had not been batting cold water for so many years. I hear God as a man, he has his friend. Who is that person God healed of HIV? You have the medical proof. I don't know whether you're at headquarters or branch. If you don't rush out, you are saying, God, you are not faithful. Mm -hmm. Get out. From yesterday's administration, somebody was healed of HIV. Rush out where you are. Tell the world how God has been good to you and give the testimony. I hear God as my his friend. Rush out and give God the glory. Otherwise, you may lose it. You vow to God that any day he heals you, you will testify. Now you're sitting down. Get up and tell the world you are healed of HIV. And God will take the glory. Yes. Papa, she went home yesterday and practicalized it. She had a bath with cold water yesterday, even today. She said now she's completely made whole. Oh, young lady, you can bathe cold water. Yes, you couldn't do that before? Yes, sir. Oh, go and enjoy your life. Give just a big hand. <laughs> Papa. This man says he's the father of the baby that was healed when you went to preach on Saturday. He uh, said, while the baby... Uh, he had one in Niger State. Yes, sir. I spoke with him on Monday. On, on Monday, yes, sir. I spoke with him. It, it, the wife said, my husband will not believe it's you. He said, when he told her that uh, I want to talk, he said, you are dreaming. When you wake up from your dream. <laughs> so when you wake up from your dream, you cannot tell me. Say, you speak with who? My wife, when, you, when your eye clear, you tell me. If you didn't believe I was one who wants to talk to you, say, my wife, forget. We say, come, talk, come on a place. When you wake up from your dream, that was the time I said, my husband, not believe me. Say, until you wake up from your dream before I can believe that you, this is my husband. You are the husband. So, God, but Pastor, he said he had low blood pressure before now, which had been a challenge because he had always been weak, always feeling dizzy and tired. He was suffering hypotension. He came two days ago for the program. And pastor, he was healed. He discovered that strength returned to him. He began to live normal. Will he you give to Jesus? Pastor, he went back to the doctor. Hold it, hold it. He went back to the doctor to check his BP. And they confirmed medically that his BP is now normal. Will you give to him? Now listen, listen, listen. I spoke with him on Monday. He, said, he stays in Ninja State because of business and evil man. The wife is here with the baby. They are trying to find his stomach, so he went to Niger State. I said, when will you come? He said, November. That's when it will be a chance. But he took that same Monday, I'm sure, and decided to be here. So you see the price he paid. Turned, that God was keeping a miracle for him. Came down here, now God healed. Are you happy? Yes, sir. Kedu? Adema, sir. Adema. <laughs> Give Jesus a hand. <laughs> Hallelujah. Somebody could travel from Niger State for this program, and somebody is the product of saying, If how you know, there's no, there's no flight from Mena to Panago. There's no flight, even if you want to come, you have to fly from one place to another, but not direct fly from here to Mena. God bless you. Your price you paid is worth it. Is what are you happy? Very happy, sir. <laughs> the child healed yes, himself, healed, yes, sir, and money will come to Amen, sir. Come, yes. 
pastor. Yes, come, come. For the past I, four I, days. I love, I love the way you, you I like your feet. Eh? Father, thank you. Stand up. Thank you, Father. Go, come closer. Thank you, Father, for changing the story completely. In Jesus' name. Enjoy your life, amen. Pastor, for the past four days, she has been having severe waist pain. She has not been able to do anything, but right here during a worship, the pain Waist pain appeared. left, give yes, Jesus a hand. What God does for one, he does for all. Both of them also have been having severe waist pain for two months. They couldn't... Now, waist pain is not funny. Yeah. Waist pain is not funny. When they say waist pain, someone say waist pain. There are people when they have waist pain, they can't do nothing. So when there's someone who has waist pain, I know what you want to hear. <laughs> None of them is married, so don't bother to hear what you want to hear. I, is any of you married? Okay. I know people like to hear so yes, They will hear anything from my mouth today. God has healed you. Go and enjoy your life. Pastor, yes. God what? has done something wonderful here. Yes. For 31 years, he has been deaf in the left ear. Hold Pastor, it, hold it, hold it. As you were ministering, he discovered that the ear had opened. Pop, open. He saw give him, give Jesus. Shout a shout of praise. You see, he said we shouldn't, we shouldn't, we shouldn't do this. So he would have gone home with 31 years old. I would not spend much time. Are you happy? Yes, sir. Very happy. Yes, sir. 31 years means he was born deaf in that ear. You can hear clearly now. Yes, sir. For the first time. Yes, sir. Give Jesus a hand. <laughs> Go and enjoy your life. Go and what? Go and enjoy your life. Yes, You want to go? Power on majesty. I use it as a point of corner for every other deaf. As his own ears, God opened them. Every deaf watching anywhere in the world. I decree the same God that opened his ears. The ear for 31 years. I command every deaf ear. Be open in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Father. Jesus, go and enjoy your life. Huh? Oh, no. Pastor, he had an accident four years ago. He has not been able to squat or flex his knees without having severe pains. But during ministration, he tried it out and he was able to squat without having pains. Do something you couldn't do for four years. Something you could not do for four years. You couldn't do that for four years. Give him a big hand. Yes, doctor. Pastor, yes. this young man got healed yesterday. He said after when the word of knowledge came that for four years he could not bathe cold water. But he went to and he and got healed people for that kind of sickness. You know, it's strange that somebody cannot bathe cold water. And God is healing them all. Hey man, give just a big hand. You can bet go water now. Hello. Pastor. Yes. She had a growth that was painful in her lower abdomen. Physical she came growth? with that growth. It, could, it was palpable. She could touch it. She could feel it. She came with that growth to this service. The growth has disappeared. The pain has disappeared. Everything completely gone. Come. Come. She's totally healed now. You, you're a lady. You're a medical, go. Let, let the lady go. Touch them. A man can't touch them. Polly and her follow. You go. Just press there. Whether, she had pain. Stay there. She had pain before. Can she just touch you a little bit? No pain. Just don't box her. Just small. Press it small. No pain. Press it. No pain. No pain. Give Jesus a big hand. Are you happy? Huh? Yes, because even sitting down, I have to sit with Kel because it was painful. It was quite painful. Very painful. My friend is aware of it. Okay, your friend. Any yes. of your friends who know yeah, that problem? A... Who's that? Who's your friend? She's a... Okay, you know about her problem? Oh, come, where you come? 
you are speaking English like uh, this is very painful. <laughs> it's very painful. It's very painful. <laughs> She's crying. You're crying. You're shedding tears. Hold it. You must have been in pain for you to be shedding tears. He loves you. And you know what it means for her as a young lady to have pain here and to sit down is a problem. He loves you. And lift your hand yourself. Say, Holy Spirit. Oh, say, Holy Spirit. Where's your microphone? If you use my own, before you even talk, you'll tumble. Say, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Touch me. Touch me. Something will happen to you. Now. Just say, touch me. Touch me. You will know it's a touch me. Ah, he's a person. Okay. Pastor, yes. she has a testimony. Please hear her out. Ah, doctor, you have your own testimony. Yes, sir. What's your own? I've been having severe toothache since yesterday. I've not been able to open my mouth wide, uh, not chew. I've been taking fluids since yesterday, but right here during ministration, I noticed the pain has disappeared and I can talk very well. Okay. But, okay. That is a doctor taking testimony and getting healed. So, so it's good? Yes. Doctor. Papa, when God speaks to one, he speaks to all. This lady has been having waste pain for the past three years and now she's healed this young man said he's been having body pains before coming for service but now he's totally made whole yes this lady has been having migraine headache for the past three months she is healed right now all healed all healed the power of jesus papa papa Do our visitors are partaking in Do this at doctor <laughs> Doctor. Our visitors are partaking in this atmosphere of miracle. Yeah. This lady is a visitor. Yeah. She has had galactoria for five years. Papa, that and, means. And don't explain, Doctor, explain. We don't know what's going Papa, that means breast milk. She's not breastfeeding. But breast milk, breast milk has been flowing from her breast profusely. Papa, she said she went to the hospital and she was placed on medications. She took it faithfully for three years. It did not stop. But she came to this service today. This is her first time. You are giving Jesus a hand. Give Jesus a hand. Pastor, Pastor we, we, you gave word of knowledge of somebody that has uncontrollable um, blinking, blinking of the eyes. They call it blessed pharaoh spasm. For the past four months, this guy has been having that. that. You, young boy, you have that kind of problem? The both eyes were involved. And but was, right in this service, Papa, you can you? see him. The Five. eyes are steady. You give Jesus a hand yourself. God heal you. If a small boy that is blinking, he won't be able to concentrate reading. It will affect your studies also because it's blinking. Yes, God sir. bless you. He loves you. Huh? I like your hair, but I can't have that anymore. <laughs> Except I'll cut this one and put it on top with glue. Oh, 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 oh. what peace we have to do. Of we in a what need as best we may be all we go sing on because we do not have everything everything to God sing it one more time child the testis is out visible the testis was not it was born they told you to correct it with surgery now go and check the child move you see the testis back in place supernaturally 
That child has a two-test sister in place. Take him back to your doctor's, confirm it. I know it as I know my name. Oh, yes, doctor? Pastor. Yes. This child had jaundice when the child was small. And so was complicated by something they call kenicterus. Now, that led to cerebral palsy. Pastor, in other words, what I'm saying is that the central nervous system has not been working properly. Because of that, he had not been able to control his neck well. He had not been able to sit well. He had not been able to stand even with support. But pastor, for the first time, this child, you can see that the neck is well controlled. The child is not falling. She tried to make the child stand. The child was standing with support. And pastor, the child is made whole. Are you getting it at all? He was born, his neck was uncontrollable. Pastor, I know of this case. You he was managed at my clinic where I was working before. The child had connectors. The jaundice was so high, it caused damage to the developing brain. And just what, as he said, he couldn't control his neck. He couldn't stand when kept down. And he couldn't even move his hands. But you can see, he has been playing all the while. Will Pastor, he's made Jesus Come with that boy. Bring him. Child, be made perfectly whole. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Hold this child. The power will hit the child and the mother. Hold the child so she won't fall with your child. Be restored in full. Hold the child. I know what I'm talking. Jesus. Child is made whole. Go and enjoy yourself. We have to stop. Miracles are too many. We may not be able to take all so that we can go. I want to close the service so we can just hear. What is it? Just Pastor, take only that one. You it's gave okay. a word of knowledge concerning someone who had abnormal vaginal bleeding. This woman has had that for the past 15 days. Immediately the word hold, of hold knowledge it, came forth. Hold, hold, hold it. You mean you are not bleeding anymore? Yes. yes. The bleeding has stopped. stopped. Are you clapping for yourself? I'm sure. <laughs> Are you getting the miracle? Hold it. No mercies will take you for 15 days. We don't take testimonies. It's medical doctors are testimonies in this church so they can know the condition. No pastors. Ah. Lady, go and enjoy your life. We have too many miracles. It's happening everywhere. Choir, how are you? You're good. You want God to touch you tonight? You want the power of the Holy Ghost? Join your hands. Lift it up to heaven and say, The power of the Holy Ghost, touch me. Fire on all of you in Jesus' name. Let the power of the Holy Ghost sing it. Sing it. I did nothing. He did it all. Holy. Consciously, let's give the glory back to the one we healed, we did the miracles, and tell him thank you. While you are thanking him, we will do your own. He lift up your voice and thank you for everything he has done. Thank you, mighty God. Give you praise and glory. Thank you, Father. I did nothing. Everything was done by you. Thank you, and thank you, and thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. You did it all. In Jesus' most wonderful name. Right. And let the people of God say, Amen. Give him a big, big hand. You may be seated. Pastor. Pastor. <laughs> you still want to take testimonies? Pastor. Yes. This is striking. Pastor, this is the father of this child. Yes. After you gave a word of knowledge, he took the child out to check because there was an undescended testis. And pastor, it is now corrected. You, you are the Jesus. father? Yes, sir. Hold yes, it, hold it. Yes, Papa. Yes, you're crying, you're shedding tears of joy. <laughs> I, I, I just can't express how I feel right now, sir. It was born, go, you talk. Papa, they have told me it has to be corrected through operation. 
And not just the means, but the pains of taking a little boy for that kind of operation and all that have been procrastinating. But I've taken him places. We really didn't come for that anyway. We just came to church. And when you mentioned it, people were testifying, and I was just sharing with them. But when you now mentioned that one, I told my eldest daughter near me, I said, this is Jeremiah's case. I ran up to where he was sitting. And when I checked his test room, the new one is slightly out. I saw it. I can open it. Will you give Jesus a hand? Give Jesus. Oh, Father. Give you praise, Jesus. Come, sweet boy. Come. Come. Father, make you very intelligent in school. You will come out first from today in Jesus' name. Come out the best in school in the name of Jesus. Be blessed. I use as a point of order for all the children. Be intelligent. In Jesus' name. How are you, sir? God bless you. He loves you. Don't cry. He loves you. The power of the Holy Ghost. Go through this man. You know he's a huge man, so don't. If you're small, you can't go for this size. The power of the Holy Ghost. Touch you. <laughs> the power of the Holy Ghost. Can you imagine small man trying to carry that hefty man? <laughs> Give Jesus a shout of praise. Amen. You may be seated. Tell your neighbor God has touched you too. Tell your neighbor prophetically God has touched you too. Amen.